to you then. Yeah, just take me downstairs and see what kind of look I got. <laughs> Could you tell us a story about you guys almost got killed? Will you tell the world how you almost killed me as a rookie in Miami, Florida? Can I buy myself out of that question right here? <laughs> True story, Pete. We're in my white Ferrari. We're young kids of Porsche's first year. I get into a race with this, I think it was a Porsche. We're doing 120 miles an hour, and this curve comes upon us. And all of a sudden, thank God, I know how to drive fast cars. I downshift and pump the brakes. The car actually turns sideways and almost hit the actual side. Frank turned stone cold white. Eyes were this oh, big, Pete. Eyes were like this. I gotta stone see cold that. White. Pete, eyes were this big. <laughs> yeah. And I thought we were gonna die. But when the car finally stopped, he looked at me. He kind of looked at me like, whoa. I got out of the car. We got and just like started it. walking. Finally, when we got back home that night, couldn't sleep. He was like this. <laughs> That's almost uh, as scared as I was when I was hitting off Koufax. <laughs> That's like, welcome to my world, Frank. Yes. Get ready. Now, here's a question for you, Jose. Uh, and I, this is a tough question. Do you think there's anybody in the Hall of Fame that took steroids? Is that a trick question? No. Absolutely. People in the Hall of Fame right now who use PEDs and MOB knows about it. No if and buts about it. Because wow. we got some pretty good players sitting on the outside, uh, like Barry Bonds, That's like Roger you. Clemens. Like Pal Merrill, five earned home runs. So do you think they should have a special wing in the Hall of Fame? Should there be a clean wing? Should there be a dirty wing? No, you can't have a clean wing and a dirty wing? Nah. Well, how can't. are you going to separate it, Pete? I don't know. You you, you're just going to vote on them or not? Exactly. You can't. Eventually, believe me, Frank, I don't know if I'll be here. I don't know if you'll be here. I don't know if Jose will be here. But eventually, these guys will get in the Hall of Fame because the I guys agree. who vote will change. I you got agree. the old timers still voting. Okay. And they're never going to give guys connected to... To, uh, uh, to steroids an opportunity to go in the Hall of Fame. I just don't think there's enough individualism there. They look at this thing and they keep saying, well, it was voted on back in the, in the past, but Pete's been forthcoming about this. And I think it's a double standard with his candidacy instead of the guys who PV use, steroid use, and their candidacy. And that's why I think you're the perfect person to answer this because you know sooner or later, people gotta realize and recognize what this man accomplished in the game of baseball. And they will, but of course, in every industry, a lot of times there's a scapegoat, and this man is paying that price for it. No different books about it. Which is fine, you know, because I'm not going to get on our show or any other show and complain about not being in the Hall of Fame because I'm the one who screwed up. Okay, you can't screw up, so to speak, and expect uh, a second chance. Why are certain guys been villainized? You two have been looked at as two of the biggest villains that this game has ever seen. Do you feel slighted? that Barry Bonds is back in Major League Baseball, Mark McGuire has been sitting in Major League Baseball, you know, with jobs, and you've been alienated. How do you feel about that? I, I don't even want a coaching job at the MLB level. I try to acquire a job at rookie ball. A person who's accomplished what I've accomplished in baseball, not only that, I, sp I speak fluent Spanish also, that I can do it with Latin players. Yeah, yeah. I can't even get a job at any affiliate of baseball at any level. Don't Period. feel like the Lone Ranger. I know. <laughs> I hear you. I'm right, I'm right there with you. I just get a little irritated, you know, and I look at this. Why is there such a double standard? I don't get this. Simple reason. I wrote a book against MLB. Really simple. I brought out the dirty laundry. That's it. And they don't forgive, man. We're getting too serious in here. This is hurt and hustle. I got a question to ask you. <laughs> How did you shoot your finger off about a year ago? I think the world <laughs> want to know about this. All right. I'm going to explain to everyone that you never clean three guns at one time. Are you becoming a modern day Rambo? I grabbed the clip that I thought that was empty. Two were empty. The, th the third one had one bullet in the clip. Put it in. It went off in my hand. I thought it just discharged. Right. So when I put the gun down, I look around looking for the bullet. I look at my hand. My finger's gone. It's actually backwards this way. Blood spurting out. So I clamp it down and looking for my finger on the ground. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Two stories. So I'm looking for my finger on the ground, <laughs> clamping this thing down. The blood. Then we called 911. They, they came into Ms. Conseco, most likely amputation. Luckily, I had one of the best surgeons in Vegas put this thing back together, and there it is. We have some video of you the day or the, or the two days later after you lost that finger <laughs> playing poker. Is this true that you lost a finger at the poker table? It was actually a joke. Okay. Um, I had a buddy of mine tape this, so I had a cast on. So now we're playing this professional poker tournament. The guy videotaping is a buddy of mine. The guy to my right is a buddy of mine. So we played it perfectly. The thing looked amazing. I hit my hand. Oh my God, this card stink. The finger went with the cards. 
So the finger is now laying on top of the table, and you see these people are like, <laughs> they're like looking at this finger, thinking right. it's real. And I'm like, what do you Did Jose Canseco's finger just fall off? So then I grabbed the finger, walked away from it. But then I, I come back two minutes later, explain to the people, no, it's just a fake dummy finger, don't worry about it. Because they were like in shock almost. They wanted to stop the game. No, it's a fake dummy finger. Don't worry about it. It's just a joke, guys. It's That's a joke. That's a hell of a sense of humor. <laughs> yeah, so. I knew I would have stood up like, oh, <laughs> what's going on here, Petey? <laughs> All right, folks.